Topsy and Tim were on their way to school, they heard a fire engine coming. It raced past them, sirens sounding and blue lights flashing. All the other traffic got out of the way. Everyone knew that the firefighters were hurrying to put out a fire. Kerry's dad is a firefighter, said Topsy. I expect he is on that fire engine. But Kerry's dad was not on the fire engine. It was his morning off and he was taking Kerry to school. Topsy and Tim told him about the fire engine they'd seen. There's an open day at my fire station on Saturday, said Kerry's dad. Would you like to come and see all our fire appliances? Yes, please, said Topsy and Tim. On Saturday, Topsy and Tim and Mummy set out for Belford Fire Station. There were lots of children at the fire station. Firefighters in yellow helmets were looking after them. Topsy and Tim soon found Kerry and her dad. Kerry was waiting to go on up on a long turntable ladder. Topsy and Tim wanted to go up too. A firefighter helped them all into a cage on the end of the ladder. He gave them safety helmets to wear. A firefighter at the back of the appliance pulled a lever and the ladder started to go up. It grew longer and longer and went higher and higher until the people on the ground looked as small as toys. We hose water down on the burning buildings from up here, said the firefighter. And you rescue people from high windows and roofs, said Kerry. When they came down from the ladder, Mummy bought them each a little firefighter's helmet. I'm going to be a firefighter when I grow up, said Kerry. Can girls be firefighters? asked Topsy. I don't think so, said Tim. Yes, they can, said the lady who was selling the toy helmets. I'm a firefighter just like Kerry's dad. Women can be firefighters, but they have to be as strong and as brave as the men. To show how strong she was, she gave Tim a fireman's lift. Kerry's dad took them to see how the fire station worked. When there's a fire and someone phones 999, he said, we get the message on a teleprinter. A loudspeaker tells us where to go and which appliances to take. Alarm bells ring and the firefighters run to the appliances. If they're upstairs, they slide down a pole. It's quicker than running down the stairs. Kerry's dad lifted the children into the cab of a big fire appliance. They pretended to drive to a fire. Kerry's dad showed them the tall tower where the firefighters practiced with their ladders and hoses. When we finished, we hang the hoses in the tower to dry them. Next to the tower room, there was a room that had been on fire. We make smoky fires in there, said Kerry's dad. Then we practice putting them out and rescuing people. Kerry took Topsy and Tim into a showroom full of fire dangers. It looked like an ordinary living room. See if you can spot where fires could start, said Kerry. Tim spotted a cigarette on an armchair seat. That could start a fire, he said. Topsy spotted a box of matches on the floor. A naughty little child might start a fire with those, she said. And that electric heater should be behind a fire guard, said Mummy. Are smoke detectors any use? She asked Kerry's dad. I think I ought to get one. Kerry's dad showed them a smoke detector and made it work. If there was a fire in your home one night, the smoke detector would wake you up, he said. We've got one, Kerry told Topsy. It was time to go home. But before they went, Kerry's dad gave them one last treat. It was a ride round the fire station yard on a children's fire appliance. The clever firefighters had made it specially for their open day. <laughs>